intentional tort when an individual or entity purposefully, intentionally does uh, uh, an injury or damage to someone else, okay? So accidentally hitting another person would not qualify as intentional if you hit accidentally. Please feel free to interrupt if you have any questions. This is intentional tort. There are three types of tort. It's not up there anymore. Examples of intentional tort, assault, battery. What's the difference between assault and battery? You always forget, yeah? No, you know. As battery is when there's physical contact. There is physical contact. Assault is... Um, exactly. Uh, verbal and physical. There's aggravated assault. Assault, aggravated battery, battery. What's aggravated assault? When you don't kill someone. You don't kill someone, but you actually... Um, no, that's uh, aggravated battery. That's aggravated battery. Aggravated is assault is when you intend to hurt someone. You have that, you give that message to that other person that I will kill you and you have a weapon in your hand. Okay, so there's no physical contact. In assault, there's no physical contact. In this case, aggravated. It's, it's like a threat, a very dangerous threat on their lives. And usually, you have a weapon. You have a knife or something. Okay? But battery is actually the physical aspect. Uh, battery, aggravated battery, is when you have a, an, you cut someone or you actually physically um, hurt someone that's very aggravated, yeah, and very dangerous. We'll talk about it later. We'll come back to this. Uh, false imprisonment when you trap someone and you don't, you know, let them go. You uh, take away their freedom. You lock someone in your basement for years whatever, or in a closet, you lock someone. Conversion is basically stealing. You steal something. Okay? Intentional emotional distress, when you give stress to someone, emotional, psychological damage, hurt, psychological. Fraud, deceit in Turkish, it's trespass, when you go on to someone's property, your private property, you without their permission, of course. Defamation. What's defamation? Iftara. And there are two types of defamation. Uh, libel and slander. Which one is the verbal one with your voice, sound? Slander, yeah. Yeah. So when you uh, vocally say something bad about someone, Libel is written, written. Okay, yeah, let's continue. <clears throat> the next one, type of tort, is negligence. Uh, this is the most prevalent, yagyan, type of tort. When an individual or entity is careless, dikats is, okay? The most common example are cases of slip and fall, slip and fall. For this one, okay. which occur when a property owner fails to act as a reasonable person would, therefore resulting in harm to a visitor. <laughs> so it's like in a swimming pool. Um, okay. Examples of negligence, slip and fall, car accidents, truck accidents, motorcycle accidents, pedestrian accidents. Bicycle accidents, medical malpractice, yeah, kutu, mal kutu, practice. So when you leave a scissors uh, just below someone's bladder or intestines, you leave ikiglar. After a surgery, there's like a scissors in there. Or you amputate, make amputate the wrong, the wrong leg. Wow, how bad is that? And then you have to amputate the right leg. You have no more legs. Hello, welcome. So, 
Uh, these slides will be on Google Drive, these slides. Please feel free to ask me. Strict liability. You drink a product which is either poisonous or harms your health. Cases where responsibility for an injury can be imposed on the wrongdoer without proof. You don't need to prove negligence or direct fault. So the defendant doesn't have to prove anything really. So we're talking about the, the third type of tort, strict liability. What is important is that an action happened and resulted in the eventual injury of another person. So defective bozuk uh, product are the main examples. Right. <clears throat> uh, in lawsuits such as these, the injured consumer only has to establish that their injuries were directly caused by the product. Okay, we talked about this. So there doesn't have to be intent. Examples of strict liability towards defective didic animal attacks when your dog attacks another person. You don't have to prove anything. You're, you're at fault. Anormal bir şekilde abnormally dangerous activities. You know, uh, drink driving. What's that? I think so, yeah. yeah. Examples. These are different examples of different types of tort. A person who punches another person and injures them can be sued for the tort of battery. A doctor that performs surgery and amputates, I gave that example, a company that makes its employees work in an unsafe condition results in the death of a worker can be sued for the tort of wrong, wrongful death um, or workplace negligence is the other name for that workplace negligence a person who leaves a lot of rubbish garbage out on their pasture backyard lawn that the neighborhood, Mount Mahale, is overtaken by many cats, wild cats, and they can be sued for the tort of nuisance. Right? What's nuisance? You are annoying me. You are a nuisance. You are irritating me. Irritate, annoy, nuisance. Rasazik verme. Ses, gürültü, müzik sesi. You know, in the apartments. So that's an act of nuisance, intentional talk. You intentionally annoy someone. You know, nightclubs are a classic example, clubs. Um, a person who destroys a rival, rakip, uh, reputation, un, by spreading kutu, lies, sort of defamation. A person who locks someone, işte, we talked about that. False imprisonment. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's look at this now. So, category is now just intentional torts, more specifically. Assault. Threaten immediate harm or offensive contact, but you threaten, you don't touch. Battery is touching. Okay, we talked about defamation. These are against a person. Okay. Invasion of privacy. All right. False imprisonment, we talked about. Intentional infliction of, yeah, we talked about, trespass to reality. These are against a person. This will be in the Google Drive. But make sure you understand them. Against property, malmuk, trespass to personal property, trespass, conversion, stealing yani. Uh, disparagement. 
Yeah, saying that işte, it's like it's a defamation. Defamation of a, a product bu sefer. Not, a, not for a person. Hello, welcome. So defamation, so Apple, Apple company is uh, saying that their rival Samsung phones are bad. Please do not use Samsung. Samsung. So that's disparagement. Do you understand that? Defamation to a company product or a service. It doesn't have to be a product. Intentional interference with a contract, um, enticing, urging someone to ihlal, breach a valid contract. Uh, so someone's in contract, you convince someone to breach that contract, persuade someone. Um, against these are intentional torts against economic. This is more uh, business related stuff. Unfair competition. Going into business for the main purpose of taking business from another, another person. Unfair competition. Hmm. The example might be harder to imagine for this, but I mean, if there's one bakery, what's bakery? Fudden. In Bozjada, and you know they're making a lot of money. Maybe that's not a good example. Maybe Microsoft in the past. Huh? Yeah. Just trying to think of an example. I think maybe Microsoft back in the old days when they had a monopoly. Uh, misappropriation. Yeah, basically copyright related problem. Telefakka, uh, yeah, telefakka. Okay, all right. Let's have a look at. Okay, all right. Let's have a look at this. Now, can you read? Can you quietly read that? What kind of tort is this? Strict liability, and more specifically, it's a dog attack. Good. Next one. What kind of tort is this? Hmm? Workplace negligence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Negligence, but more specifically, workplace negligence. Do you understand? Yeah? Why not this? Why not intentional tort? You can ask me if you have questions. Number three. Slashes. <laughs> Can you tell me what that is? Hmm? She slashed the tires, yes, and but more specifically. Ran at him with a knife. But was she able to stab him? Did she stab him or hurt him physically? Threatened. Threatened with a knife. So is it battery or assault? Assault. Is it a very dangerous assault? Or is it an eoplut assault? Sorry. That was, a, that was a bad joke. It was aggravated uh, assault, of course, yeah, with a knife. 
it's more serious than assault, aggravated assault. The next level is battery, which you damage someone. And then the next level is maybe murder, type 2 murder. And the last one. It's easy. What is it? Strict liability. Is it is it more specific? Can you tell me something more specific about it? Yeah. It's intentional. Emotional stress. Yeah, he can sue for emotional stress, but <laughs> what else? What's the obvious one? Conversion, okay. But the key word, it's a claim. Claim, what does claim mean in Turkish? It does. So it doesn't mean it's real. It's not real. Or maybe, but. So what is it? He was unable to find work. He was depressed. Oh, defamation. Defamation, yeah. yeah. Is it slander or libel defamation? Libel. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably. It's maybe both slander or libel. We don't know. Maybe he typed, said it, gave a written statement, maybe. So broadcast, we don't know if it's yeah, verbal or written. Good. Excellent. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Talks. All right. Let's have a look at these again. Aggravated assault. Basically, <coughs> touching. Assault is a uh, threat. Tested. Aggravated assault with a knife, with a weapon. More dangerous or more uh, serious than assault. Okay. Yeah. Threat. With a? Okay. Thread. Ah, thread. Uh, uh, No, the thread. Thread is a, uh, you know, the needle or jundolu yadidik. That's the thread. But do we use it in cinematography and cinema? Thread? The thread. Maybe. I don't know. So. Uh, so, aggravated assault, yeah, thread. Uh, assault is just a, you know, usually verbal. You'll hurt someone. I will punch your face in. It's a very art article. Yeah. Assault. Kezapatarum <laughs> Um, But that's more aggravated, probably. But, yeah. But no, it's because you don't have... If you have uh, kezap, yeah, it's aggravated. Assault, battery, assault. So... Today, guys, something's wrong with me. It's not my day. Aggravated battery is when you hurt someone, you stab someone, okay? But without killing him or her. And battery is when you hit someone, you're in contact with someone, but without a serious weapon. So, like punching or, you know, kicking. Mm -hmm. 
Um, all right, let's do a speaking activity. So unfortunately, we're not going to do some of the things because the, the speakers aren't working. We we're going to do listening as well, but we're not going to do listening. All right, so in pairs, what I'd like you to do is, I'm going to give you like two pieces of paper and they have both the same writing on it. Uh, you need to, with your partner, you, it's in partners, you need to discuss what you think would happen in this case. What would be the result? And uh, what? how would they defend themselves, the defendant? How would the plaintiff accuse the defendant? Oh, sorry, you're together. Yeah. So what number is that? What case number? Yeah, you can. together there and you guys can work together there. Yeah. So read the situation. You will do three things. How do you think the plaintiff will accuse or go ahead with this trial? What would their what would their uh, accusation be? What would the defendant do? How would the defendant defend themselves? What would the what would the defendant say? And what do you think will be the res result so much of this? It's like two minutes. <clears throat> You should speak in English, of course, not not Turkish. It's a speaking practice as well. Just tell me when you're finished. I'll give you another one. You should speak in English, English, not Turkish. When you're finished, just tell me so I can give you another one.
Finished? Anyone finished? Just let me know. Tell me if you're finished. We started very late because we had a technical problem, so we started half an hour late. The technician was trying to fix the, the volume. We were going to watch some things, but we couldn't watch it. Come on, I'll give you uh, the results for that. Just wait so you can read it, see the outcome. Uh, yeah, the things that we've learned. Uh, you, you, no, you're not matching it. You're just saying, well, what, is this a strict liability or is it negligence? And what type of negligence, if it's negligence? That's the, uh, that's the outcome of that. That's the result, the answer for that. And all the activities, materials, are on Google Drive. Were you here when I wrote the password? It will all be in there. So that's the outcome for that. Guys, will you tell me when you're finished, I'll give you the uh, results, the outcome for that. What do you have? Four? No, no, that's okay. That's all right, it's for you. It's for your consumption. So many papers. Five, case five, you sounded like a judge. Case four, have a look. What case, girls? Yeah, what number is it? Huh? Six. What's yours? That's six. That's six. It tells you the outcome. Yours is three. There you go. What's yours? Two. Okay, that's the what happened. Okay, that's nine. And that's what happened. The outcome, so much. What's that? Seven. You think it's negligence? Let's see what the the case thinks. Give you another one to do. One more. So yeah. What about two, eight? You did eight. Let's do five. Seven. Let's do another one. Nine. <coughs> I'll give you a new one. You can talk about it. You should talk about that one. And then do that one. Uh, no, English, English. I just said, yeah, continue. That was very good. Like, of course, yeah. Case one. Oh, man. It's a mini piano. How did I do that? Yeah. 
Well, yeah, some torts can go to criminal trials. Spit. Of course, that's why I'm here. Three, let's try three. Let me know when you're finished so I can give you the results again. Which one? Nine? What do you think? Okay, so. There's no injury? Are you sure? Case okay, nine. No injury? Defense can't say anything. Um, the defense cannot defend them. Theory of liability is battery. Defense none. Predicted outcome. Plaintiff wins. Touching Joel's hands. Okay, so this definition says uh, that was directly touching Joel's hands. Okay, the court, in this case, Fisher versus Carousel, found that the intentional grabbing of the plaintiff's plastic and racial constitution. Because, just because there was a touching. I mean, I disagree. It shouldn't be a battery as well. I agree with you guys. There was no hurt. But technically, the judge said it's battery. It's, I don't think it is. I don't think it's battery, but that judge said it is. I think he's wrong. Five, have a look. If there's something you don't understand, uh, please tell me, ask me. But you should know battery as really something like morarma, bruising, or concussion, I and mean, then cut or not cut but like broken bone or something there has to be physical contact that sort of hurts that person that just talk to me about it i don't know, I don't know. <coughs> yeah all right i'll have a look 
803. Uh, read that and tell me if you understand. This, see what they say. <coughs> what are you looking at now? Seven? Okay. Four. Let's see what the judge thinks. Okay. What is it? Case number? Yeah. Six. Okay, that's six. Uh, we don't have. What did you do? Did you do two? You did two. Oh, okay. You still haven't finished the first one. Oops. Six. Okay. So, so. I don't have any more. But time's up anyway. All right, guys. Time's up. Well done. Uh, did I just, yeah. What did you learn? Nothing. So what did you learn from all these cases? Did you learn anything? So like technically touching, that's automatically that's battery. Okay. Uh, according to a pre precedence, uh, the uh, inside case. So, yeah. Anything else that you learned? Huh. Um, What's that technical, what's that word called? When you, if someone punches you, you shouldn't just shoot them. Proportionate. proportionate. Your attack should be proportionate. Yeah. Uh, what's the Turkish of that? Uh -huh. At the same sort of level. Excellent. Yeah? Scenario 8. <coughs> okay, so scenario 8 says there is false imprisonment, but you thought battery. If the were they immigrants? Were they like Syrian or something? I think. Yeah. But against her will, she she didn't want to. If you're held against your will, that's automatically false imprisonment. If you take someone and they don't want to be taken by the boat or whatever, you're imprisoning someone. I don't see anything wrong with that. 
Does anyone else have anything to say about this case? Okay, so it's not a refugee situation or anything like that. It's just this guy, Lenny, he takes Matilda on a boat. Okay. Syria, USA. I still can't say Syria and USA. Ah, okay, this is predictable results. I'm telling you there's something wrong with me today. I think I'm becoming ill. Maybe I'm getting like flu. Um, Ah, the ship arrived, but Lenny refuses to give Matilda a rowboat. So, okay, so it's okay until they go to America. Everything's cool. She has the permission, or she has the will. No problems. But when when they get to America, he says, "Hey, hey, hey you can't go." She says, "I want to go. I came to America." No, no, no, you can't go. And she, he forces her. So Lenny refuses to give Matilda a rowboat so that she can get to the shore. So she is suing Lenny for refusing to give Matilla a rowboat. Saying, you can't go, Yanni, you're not free from me. It's a false imprisonment. But what did you say? Battery? Something else. Mm. Huh, okay. Yeah, no. I know. Okay, I understand. It's like a truckload of uh, immigrants, and they all die. They all suffocate in the truck, and so that's a that's a of course that's a criminal offence. Automatically criminal. There's death. If, there, if there's death, it's not civil. It's not taught. There's no death. Uh, although sometimes battery and assault can also be criminal as well. All right, guys. Now, next week we'll do tort as well, again. But before we take a break, let's just go through the vocabulary that will be in the uh, test. And then we'll take a break. Today will be short because the system's not working, so we're going to skip some things. Acquit. So this will be, these words will be in the test. He was acquitted. She was acquitted. Aklander. <clears throat> Uh, we just had a. How can we lose the files in the drive? I will, I will, but not now. There was a. <clears throat> trial, dismissing the trial. No, that that's different. That's when the trial wasn't even done. Uh, dismissing the case because there's not enough evidence or whatever. That's different because that's like before the case starts, before the trial starts. This is like, uh, acquit is like after the trial finishes, uh, he was acquitted. Sentence, Mark Mek. What's the difference between verdict and sentence? The verdict is given by jury, yep. given by Excellent. Uh, can you give me an example? What's the Jumla sentence, verdict sentence? And in the civil cases, can the jury give the actual sentence or the or the or the damages or the? So when the jury says, okay, in the civil case that yes, they are liable for damages, can they also give how much they are liable for, what they should do? They can. Yeah, yeah, they can. So, medios, what are we talking about? So, in the civil cases, uh, the jury, six, not twelve, six, uh, will give a, sent a verdict. 
yes, he is guilty, not guilty, I'm liable for damages. But they can also say he should pay this much compensation or he should pay uh, punitive damages or whatever. They can. In civil, they can. Only in civil. The jury has that yet given, has that authority. But in criminal, just guilty, not guilty, that's it. And the judge gives the sentence, okay? Like 10 years imprisonment or whatever. He was convicted of murder. Such the bond. Convicts went to Australia 250 years ago from England. Convicts sailed to Australia. And Tasmania, the island, had the worst convicts, the most dangerous convicts. Convicts. Trespass we talked about. Yeah. Going into someone's property, like, huh? Yeah. Backyard. Or, you know, um, whatever. Just snooping around someone's backyard, looking inside, maybe, or in a factory. You're playing with your friends. You're taking drugs in a factory that's emptied, or well, all the employees have left, and you're spending that time in a, a company's property. So what's the Turkish? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like. Yeah. Property, usually into property, trespassing you pro into, into Gaidamenko, a place. Uh, homicide. What's homicide? Jinayat. All types of killings. Murder, manslaughter, homicide. All types of killings. All, yeah, manslaughter and murder. Do you know it? Do you come under the other question? Something you're uncertain about? <laughs> From a family? Yeah. Really? Does it have to be family? Really? Home. <laughs> okay, look it up, guys. I've never heard that one before. Um, what is home? No, what is what is homicide? Really? Why, why would there be a special category for family deaths? No, no, no. Just killing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Genocide, we mean like genes because of racial. Okay, I thought, yeah. Okay. Kill me. Cook him. Wow. But no, homo homicide is not family, okay? Just, yeah. Homo sapien, I like that. Homo sapien is person, not family. Uh, maybe you're thinking biological family, like, you know, you have monkeys, giraffes, elephants. These are. F Okay, Homo sapiens. All right, battery we know. 
attacking physically someone. Is there a Turkish for battery? Darp. I think so. Darp it. Yeah. Huh? Lynch is English just the lynch. Maybe aggravated battery is lynch. Because it's lynch. Yeah, of course. Of course. That's very aggravated. Yeah, of course. Lynch in Turkish English is also lynch. Uh, perjury. Lying under oath. Yemin altın. Yemin ettikten sonra. Yeah, yalan söylemek. <coughs> perjury. Huh, double jeopardy. You don't need to know this, but... Uh, okay, but you should, you should. There is no double jeopardy in the West or the, in any legal system. Uh, it basically means if you're tried for one case and there's a result from that case, you, you cannot be tried again for the same case in the same uh, court or same jurisdiction. Olamas, exactly. But you can be tried in like if it's if it was yeah exactly if it was criminal it can be uh, civil. Oh, the sons, please guys, like feel free, just tell me, Ojam, I didn't understand. Chief Diagolama, maybe is that the technical Turkish term, Chief Diagolama? It's a jumle. Isn't there a sentence technical? Bill, what's Bill? Do you remember? So we're talking about the parliamentary system, the parliament. This is week one. Bill Jafter. Statutes. <laughs> Before it. Uh, so yes, that's what says. Okay, so it's Bill of Rights. So it's not a statute yet. The law made by parliament is called a. Statute. It's on Google Earth. Uh, Google Earth. You're on Google Drive. My head's not right today. Google Drive. You need to know these guys. Statute is the law made by Parliament or Congress. In America, they call it Congress. In Australia, New Zealand, in the Commonwealth countries, we say Parliament. Uh, laws made by courts are called what? Needed laws which are made by courts. Common law. Common law. Which one is more anecdotal? Which one is more günlük hayattan gelen? Common law, exactly. Statute is more top down, tepeden. Bu bottom up, aşağıdan yukarı. And belediyelerin yaptığı regulations, düzenlemeler, or bylaws. Bylaws. Okay. These are called um, delegated legislation. How many do you need to know? No, no, no, belediyeler. Belediye. Eyalette, if it's parliament, eyaleti. So it's statute. And, yeah. Common law. Congress, American Congress. Where is the Congress? Which state? Is it Washington? DC, I might have to say DC. There are two Washingtons. What the DC? Huh. Yeah. So there are two Washingtons. Uh, the one in Seattle, the uh, west coast, up up the top near Canada. That's just Washington State. The capital is Seattle. The one in the east coast, just you know, south of whatever Connecticut, New York. That's the state is called Washington DC. It's tiny, could you be It's tiny. Tiny. Yeah, it's like earlier, you can think of it like that actually, maybe. I used to know, I think. Exactly, thank you. Well done, District of Columbia. Excellent. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, why, why aren't the other states called DC, Texas, DC, or whatever? 
Because I think, look it up, look it up, but I think there's an element of Vaticanism in this area. I think they can govern themselves or something. There's something like they're sort of independent, Gibi. There's something. It's not a state. Yeah. It's like Vatican, Gibi, a little bit. I'm open Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. They are pri a privileged uh, region. Congress, okay. Appeal? Ten years. Okay, we talked a lot about this. Solicitor and barrister, you should know. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. In the court. So in America we have attorneys, but in England we have solicitors and barristers. The barristers they represent the client in courts. They wear the wig, the white peruk. Barrister. They have no contact with the client. Uh, the solicitor has contact with the client. The solicitor has an office. They talk to the client, they collect all their evidences, they prepare all the documents, brief the uh, barrister, talk to the barrister, and then the barrister goes. Just how many barristers are there? You mean the proportion to solicitors, barristers? Are you, that's what you're thinking. Which one's more? Uh, no, no, no, I don't think it's like that. I, I really think, I think there are many more solicitors. I think there are much more because a lot of cases are dealt with and finished and finalized. They never go to court, most. So I think there are many, many, like Mamali, Mishchavi, Mekadar Varsa, Turkey, like everywhere. They're like solicitors everywhere. But barristers are less because Taleb Arzme said this. There's, as I said, a lot of trials don't go to court. Yeah. The bar, the barola. Of course, they all go through barola. Bar. Bar. Bar. Intentional talk we talked about today. Uh, habeas corpus. Now, I did. The Latin gurus. What's habeas corpus? Are you talking about Miranda rights? <clears throat> okay, so let's start with question number one. What's writ? The courts write up a writ. So no one. No, no, no, not a draft. Tussle, not a tussle. I'm writing, yeah, I'm writing in Kasaltamsha. It's it's a formal. Um, Letter or a writing, piece of writing made by the court. Delay, it's like, I'm not sure if it's delayed. Subpoena is an example of subpoena. I can never spell this. The other piece of art. Subpoena. It's one example of a writ. Habeas corpus is another example of a um, writ. And uh, there's another one. A few more. So it's a court piece of paper, declaration by the judge saying, Tebrigat, I think, yeah, I think so. You said Tebrigat as well. No, writ is habeas corpus. So what's habeas corpus? An example of a Tebrigat. Okay. No, okay, so you... No, no. So if you have a prisoner, there is a prisoner waiting for a trial, the court uh, sends a, a habeas corpus saying, bring that prisoner to court. It's a court order, but writ is a court order. It's very specific. A prisoner must be a prisoner, not subpoena. Subpoena is anyone outside in their homes they, if you get a subpoena, it means you must appear in court. 
But habeas corpus means it's for a prisoner only, for a prisoner who is waiting for trial, and the court says, now your time is, has come. No, it just means corpus. What's corpus? Corp. Kadabra. Vijut. No, no, no. Bu homicide gibi olmasın. Um, corpus means uh, kadav, yani vücut. Corp, corpus, corp. The corpse dersin, ölü vücut vardır. It's corpse. Um, habeas means gelsin. Gelsin. Bu kişi gelsin. Calling a prisoner to the trial. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, of course, of course. If he's sentenced, but then no, it, he can be a sentenced prisoner as well. If they've made a mistake with the trial, or something's gone wrong where he needs to be tried again, like Yasadeshte, something happened. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's too clear. Um, basically, it's a piece of paper which says, come to court, to a prisoner. Subpoena, how do you spell subpoena? You, you need to know this as well. Sub, I think it's sub P. Yeah, B first. Is this correct? I think that's it. Subpoena is also... Huh? This also says, come to court. Ama, it's for not a prisoner. It's not a prisoner. Can be to a witness. It doesn't have to be a defendant or a plaintiff. Can be a witness. Hey, you know, you know, you have some information. Come to court. Or it can be jury for jury service. You can get a subpoena. Yeah, for jury. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, it's an invitation, maybe. It's not as exciting as that word, invitation. You don't get excited, but... But do you understand the difference? Subpoena? Evinde oturan birisi. But this is our prisoner. All right, let's continue, guys. Prosecutor is for criminal trials. We know, we talked about this a million times. Uh, yes, subject. Uh, plaintiff is for civil trials. Plaintiff. Voluntary manslaughter. Okay, we talked about first degree murder, second degree murder, third degree murder. Uh, sorry, third degree. Uh, my head's not right today. Um, voluntary manslaughter and involuntary manslaughter. Okay? So, first degree murder. It's premeditated, kelimesi. It's planned, yani biraz özet geçeceğim. It's long, planned, all right? Okay, and you have an intention to kill. First degree murder. Second degree murder, what's missing? No plan. You just intend to kill someone. Cinnet geçirdi. Cinnet geçirdi? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, you kill someone. No plan. So what's voluntary manslaughter, o zaman? The next level. Do you have plan? No. no. Do you have niet, intention no. to kill? Yeah. Voluntary manslaughter. No, no, no. Okay. okay, so guys, you need to know these. First degree, murder, second degree, Murder, voluntary, and involuntary. Okay, so first degree, there's plan and intention. 
Now, this is the most serious. Second degree, there's only intention yet to kill, but no plan. That's spontaneous. Spontane. Voluntary. Any ideas? Yeah, what's there? Is a physical attack. You, you're in a fight and you hit someone. You didn't want to kill him, but he died. Okay? Ah, yeah, go. Mm, so that gets complicated. There's no direct. There's a technical Latin word for that as well. It's indirect. That might be involuntary manslaughter. You understand? Like you hit someone, but they have a heart attack. Like after Ikisatsuna, they have a heart attack. That could be involuntary. Uh, involuntary is mesela accident. Car accident. Yani, you don't want to hit that person, but you accidentally hit that person. Kaza. I'm, I'm smiling because I think you asked me this again yeah. recently. <laughs> um, what do you guys think? Drunk, drunk driving, and you hit someone, and they die. Is it voluntary or involuntary? Manslaughter. There's some things that overlap. In general, there's a um, universal mantuk. Uh, sometimes they're the same. I mean, um, good question. What do you think? What do you guys think? Drunk driving and you kill someone. I have a feeling. In Turkish, let's say. Huh? What? Yeah, and which one would that be? Or was... We'll find out. I just have a feeling it's... <sighs> yeah, but so you understand the terms. So what do you think it translates to? Anyway, I have a feeling it's involuntary. We'll look it up. You asked me this before, I know. Liable for damages, okay, guilty in a criminal trial, liable for damages in a civil trial. You don't say guilty in civil. Okay. We talked about arbitration, mediation. <laughs> arbitration. Okay, which one is binding, Yanni? Arbitration or mediation? Okay, yeah. Arbitration is binding. So these are like before you go to court, you can you have this option of and Turkey da yeni başladılar. Uh what's the Turkish bit mid Arabajul, okay. Yeni başladı. Türkiye hep geriden geliyor. Aile hekimi. Mediation is not binding. Okay, mediation is just a tausia recommendation. Banja bak, shuni absan is yolu fala. But uh, arbitration is binding. Um, it's not the court though. We're not talking about the court system. The head of the state of England or Britain or the United Kingdom is the crown, monarch, 
okay, is the head of the state. The head of the state of America is president. Um, okay. What's the time? Punitive damages, finally. Do you know what it means? We So the court may give punitive damages to the defendant who lost the trial. These are on... Huh? So you, you, you may be uh, facing, you may be uh, given a compensation, Tazmina, but this is extra. Punitive damages are usually money, extra, that um, are given to the, the defendant. It's a, it's this slap on the wrist. This is like money, monetary. Um, don't do it again. It's a jeza. Yeah. It doesn't go to the uh, plaintiff. This money doesn't go to the plaintiff. It goes to the government. So, ikiartiki is not dirt. It's besh. Yani, you did something wrong. Okay, shukadar dere. Five lira, besh lira, verdin. But you should also be punished for thinking about doing this or doing this. So I give you two lira, you have to give me two liras more. Daha yapma bak. All right? Two liras more. İki artı iki is not four. Five. Verdin zarar daha büyük aslında. Topluma. And... Finally, councils of belediyeler. This, this word means belediye. Councils. Um, okay. uh, now, I'm in a little bit of a dilemma. I have this challenging trial case analysis uh, we couldn't do last week. But would you like to take a break, come back? Let me give you this option. You can, if you like, stay and we will do this. It will take about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, but it's challenging. It is challenging. It's a specific trial. There are a lot of difficult words, Latin words. Um, or you can, you have the option of leaving, of course, you can leave, I don't want to... Because you didn't take a break, that's why we can like block you, but you can think of it like a block lesson. So you can go if you want, or um, you can stay, but I'm not going to ask you to leave now. Let's take a break, alright? Ten minutes. If you want, you can leave, or you can stay for this, it's up to you. We can do it next week as well, it's up to you. You might be tired, and we didn't take a break. Dilemma, uh, ikilem. Dilemma, ikime. Let's do this. Let me just show you what, how this is organized. So it's Nick's versus white side. Uh, in America they say versus. In England they say. They say, uh, against, I think, is in America. Although I'm not sure. In England, usually just and. This is and. Okay? In America, it's versus. Uh, so who is the prosecutor? Uh, first, you write the prosecutor or the defendant first? Prosecutor is first, okay? And all this is uh, the case finalized, finished in 1986. This is the finish date, finished. And this is all just a document number or Nardan Bulabijan is like check manager, whatever. The database number. Um, nature of the case, this is an OZ summary of what the case is about. Appeal for a grant, so the, go, the, the court will grant, give a uh, habeas corpus. So the, the defendant uh, or the accused, or the defendant wants habeas corpus to. 
fact summary, what happened, or is it a concise rule of law, what the law says, Eldeki Kanun, about this situation. And these are the facts. What happened, ne oldu, in detail. And then the issue, yani tartışılan mevzu ne, konu ne? Okay, neyi tartışıyoruz? Holding a decision, kararı. Burger is the surname of the judge or justice. Bazen they also say justice, just, uh, judge. Okay. But it's, he's the chief justice, CJ. Uh, what's a chief justice? Any ideas? The Supreme Court. The Supreme Court? Or he is the head of the, or he is head of, well, anyway, Supreme Court. Okay, sure there. What I'm trying to say is, there are many Supreme Courts in each state, right? but there's only one, the capital Supreme Court. Where is this? Washington, D.C. He is the Baba of justice. And they've always been babas. There's never been a mother, Chief Justice, Erkek oldu. There's one, just one, at one time. There's one. Huh? Um, and this is not Adalet Bakanı. It's not a political, he has no poli political affiliation, no connection. Political is not. Independent. Okay? So in Turkey, what, what do we call it? What's the equivalent of Chief Justice? Mahkemelerin başı ama there is one. There is a technical Turkish. Adalet Bakanı değil. Danıştay? Okay. I'm not sure what the Turkish is. I don't think there's a Turk. But what you said sounded logical. Um, I th maybe. Okay. Concurrence means katılıyorum. What to what the Chief Justice says. So Blackman, Judge Blackman, agrees. Concurrence means agree. Stevens, Judge Stevens, agrees also with the decision of the Chief Justice. And finally, there's another Stevens. He also agrees. Uh, this is just the editor, uh, editor's book, kitabın, yazarının uh, analizi about this court case. What did you understand? What happened? Just random ideas. So the online students can hear. Yeah. Excellent. Not thus, but thus, thus. Well done. Uh, and then what happened? Did, did the appeal court and the state supreme court accept his appeal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone else? Well done. Thank you. That was excellent. Um, so where is that? It's my, my question. 
the, the appeal and the state Supreme Court uh, accepted the appeal? So therefore, they accepted the appeal. Yani, they overturned the the judge or the sentence, the previous sentence. They overturned. They changed the sentence. They accepted the appeal. Excellent. Very good. And then, what did the Supreme Court say, or the Supreme Chief Justice say? He. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Very, very good. So, trial court found him guilty. Then the appeal court and the state Supreme Court said he's not guilty. They changed the verdict. They accepted his appeal. But the Washington, D.C. Supreme Court said, hey, hey, hey, do look him to the appeal courts. He can't lie under oath. Uh, and uh, the uh, the, his, his attorney did not violate his right to have a free trial. So he overturned the appeal court's overturned decision. All right. Let's. Can you answer these questions? Let's see if you can. That was excellent. Um, so the, I don't know if you all understood. I mean, it was just two people, but that was good. These are questions about that article. It's a short sentence. I'm not going to collect it, so it's just for you. Uh, you can work together, guys. I mean, it's, done. it's not like a street dars. Just talk to each other if you want. Do you like the cartoon?
Um, I need to help you so we can finish it. So the defendant was charged with second degree murder. Why is he appealing as we talked about? Yes. He couldn't lie. He wanted to lie. Three, yes they did. They accepted, yes. What was the state double eight cause explanation? Um, the Sixth Amendment was not infringed upon or violated. The Sixth Amendment was not violated. Um, five, what was the decision of the Supreme Court? Yeah, I mean, okay, so he, we talked about this. Overruled the decision of the appeal court. The defendant is definitely guilty according to the Supreme Court. In this case, in any case, in whose judgment is overriding, there's a mistake there, grammar mistake, is overriding, it's Yanin. Of course, the, the Supreme Court. Overriding is what in Turkish, that word? Üstecikma. Oh, there is one. Turkish. And seven. What did you, what's the main idea of what Justin Brennan said? Let's have a look. Justin Brennan. Can you paraphrase what Brennan said? Okay, so what the, the defendant cannot prove that there was prejudice. That's the anafikir of Brennan. The defendant cannot prove that there was prejudice to prove ineffective assistance to counsel. He cannot show that he was denied counsel and representation. Counsel means representation. Okay? Turkçesi ne onun o cümlenin? Ya men edilmedi gibi. Onu kanıtlayamaz. Kanıtlayamaz. So. Yeah. Good. Uh, what does um, Blackman say? Yeah, the counsel, his attorney, did nothing to deprive him of a fair trial. Okay. Yani kötü bir şey yapmadı avukatı. Yanlış bir şey yapmadı. Özeti, çok özet. And finally, Stevens nasıl değerlendiriyor? Concurrence, by the way. Bunlar hep concurrence, like, hep katılıyor yani. They all accept. Böyle bir emsal yok. The court's decision today has no bearing, no control uh, on how to treat, yani deal with such a case where an attorney actually böyle bir durumda ne yapacağını bilmiyor, yasa yok, böyle bir common law yok. Hiç böyle bir şey daha önceden yaşanmadı. Alright, so that's what Stevens is saying. And the editor, daha zor anlaması, what the editor is saying. I think the editor is saying, do you have any idea? I have an idea. What do you think? Okay. Because we've run out, we've finished out of time. We're running out of time. Um, basically, the editor is saying, "Look, the Supreme Court doesn't deal with issues like this. Can I look there? The Supreme Court just gives like very broad, general descriptions of the situation. Very um, çok detaylı detaylara inmiyor genellikle. But bu bir istisna. Istisna kelimesi hangisi? Exception. İlk defa bu kadar detaylı bir yorum yaptı. The Supreme Court." And basically, this, the main idea is here. The court 
wrote down or has broad rules regarding what is ethical conduct. So, çok genel tutuyor olayı Supreme Court. Ve etik davranış biçimi öne açıklamış zaten. So, and this is not ethical. Yapılan şey de etik olmadığı için. That's it. Okay. That's all.